role-playing video games have been around since the mid-70s. They were inspired by pen and paper role-playing games such as Dungeons and Dragons. And back then, they were for mainframe computers typically found in universities rather than for personal home computers. Among the first ever role-playing video game was Dungeon, a game that ran on PDP-10 mainframe computers, in which players could choose what actions to take in combat and where to move each character in the party. As the years went on, video games evolved and became more and more advanced. Things such as voice acting, a good plot, and fleshed out characters are very important for video games nowadays, especially for narrative-driven role-playing games. Voice acting can really add a lot to the immersion of a video game, though games don't necessarily need voice acting to be good. There are a lot of very good games out there with a fun gameplay loop and solid narrative and characters that do not have voice acting. But for this video I want to specifically talk about protagonists or player characters that do or do not have a voice in a game. Of course the importance of voiced characters slash protagonists will vary per genre and per game. If the game mostly revolves around the gameplay loop, the story might not be that important. And if the game doesn't even have characters or a main protagonist, the question of should the protagonist be voiced or silent doesn't even matter. Of course, for more narrative-driven games, a voiced or silent protagonist can really make a big difference to people, in both good and bad ways. Of course, because I'm going to be talking about voiced versus silent protagonists, I'm going to be focusing on the types of games that this actually applies to. Namely, games that have, at least, somewhat of a storyline and, of course, a playable protagonist. As a small side note, I'm gonna try to use footage from all kinds of different games uh, as much as possible, but I will probably end up using a lot of Dragon Age game footage, since, well, I just have so much of that already. Plus, Dragon Age is a good example because it's had both voiced and silent protagonists, but uh, yeah, more on that later. Now, similar to my open worlds versus linear levels video, this isn't meant to be a super serious video. Just a fun discussion about a video game related topic that I've seen people talk about on the internet. There isn't a right or wrong answer, I'm just going to list the differences between the two and their pros and cons, and then you can decide for yourself which one you like better. And I'm going to try to make up my mind as well. Anyway, this intro has been long enough, so without further ado, grab yourself a nice cup of tea and let's discuss Voiced versus Silent Protagonists. So let's start with the differences between voiced and silent protagonists. Well, it is exactly what it says. A voiced protagonist has a literal voice in a game and a silent one doesn't. But don't worry, I'll be a bit more specific than that. A voiced protagonist has, as I said, a literal voice in the game. All their dialogue has been recorded by a voice actor and can be heard in cutscenes, combat and conversations with NPCs, including dialogue options. A silent protagonist is a player character that doesn't have any dialogue for the entire duration of a game. Think of Link from The Legend of Zelda, for example. Or they don't have an actual voice like other NPCs, but do speak through text dialogue or text dialogue options that the player can choose, like the Warden from Dragon Age Origins. Of course, there are silent protagonists that do have a quote-unquote voice when it comes to like random barks during combat or whenever you click on them or order them to do something. So they technically aren't 100% silent, but they are still considered as such since they don't speak for the majority of the game or during cutscenes and conversations. Alright, now that we've talked about the differences, let's talk about the pros and cons. And let's start with the pros for the voice protagonist. Immersion and pacing. I think one of the biggest pros for a voice protagonist is the immersion and pacing of dialogue and cutscenes. When all of the other characters in the game have a voice, your player character replying to them with an actual voice will add to the immersion and will make the conversation feel like, well, an actual, real conversation between two or more people. It also keeps the flow and pacing of the conversation going, since there isn't always a long pause between parts of dialogue since you don't have to read anything, or read less in some cases. Personality A voice protagonist tends to have more of a defined personality. This helps with making the player character feel like an actual fully fleshed out character with their own thoughts and opinions. When it comes to a customized character, the voice can also help you get a clearer image of your character's personality and how you want to play them. Emotional attachment. Because of the things I mentioned in my previous points, your character having a voice and therefore feeling like an actual fleshed out character with their own personality, it can be easier to really get attached to them as a character. Whether you're looking at them as a character or your character, them having a voice tends to make it easier for you to get invested in them. 
They feel like a believable character living in the world. You're experiencing their story, their feelings and their opinions. If something good or bad happens to them, they are able to voice how they feel about the situation. And it allows you to empathize with the character better. Of course, this doesn't always have to be the case. There are cons to having a voice protagonist as well. So let's talk about them. Immersion breaking. Okay, okay, I know I just said one of the biggest pros for having a voice protagonist is the immersion, so why is immersion breaking one of the cons? Well, let me explain. So, when the game doesn't offer dialogue options and the protagonist is an already established character, a voice typically adds to the immersion. In the case of games with dialogue options and a customized character, it could go both ways. When the game offers you dialogue options that are not the literal voice lines, someone might interpret them another way. As a player, you will read the dialogue options in your head, and you interpret the meaning and think of how your character would say these lines. And then when you pick an option and your character says something completely different or says the line in a way you didn't expect, it can be pretty immersion breaking, especially if it's not in line with how you're roleplaying your character. And it can lead to some awkward situations with the NPC you're talking to when your character accidentally insults them or something, and it results in you getting some disapproval points. Then again, that might also just be an issue with how the dialogue options are presented to you, but you get my point. Solus tried to explain what you are, but honestly, I stopped listening after a while. Any chance you could explain it? Might not feel like your character. Sort of related to the previous point, a character with a voice might not really feel like your own character. As I mentioned earlier, a voice protagonist tends to have more of a defined personality. If this personality doesn't align with how you picture your character in your head, it can break immersion and give you the feeling that you're playing an already established character rather than your own character with their own thoughts and feelings. With a voice protagonist, you also have less autonomy over how your character says things to other characters in the game when it comes to dialogue options. Most of the time, the dialogue options presented to you will not be the literal voice lines that you'll hear when your character actually speaks. Which can lead to what I talked about in my previous point. Additionally, the voice that the actual character has might not be the voice you imagined your character to have, or might not fit with the type of character you created. Even if there are multiple voices to pick from, it might not be a voice that you want for your character. Less dialogue options. If the protagonist has a voice, the game usually gives you less dialogue options to choose from. And I think that is because it would be really expensive to give you just a whole list of dialogue options with a voice protagonist. And that leads me to the last con. Expensive. Having a voice protagonist is just more expensive. Especially if it's a game with dialogue options and one that gives you multiple voices to choose from. If we take Dragon Age Inquisition for example, both male and female Inquisitors have two different voice options. That's four voice actors that have to be paid. Multiple voice options is good for us players, but it's more expensive for the game devs. Alright, now that we've talked about the voiced protagonists, let's talk about the silent ones. Starting off with the pros, of course. Blank Slate When the protagonist is silent, they are more of a blank slate. This can be a pretty good thing, mainly when it's a character you created. The lack of voice gives you more freedom with how you want to roleplay your character, and how they would say things to other characters. The way they say things to other characters is more open to your own interpretation. The way NPCs reply to your character's dialogue might still be the same, but you have the freedom to imagine the intent with which your character says something. If my warden says to Alistair that he's a royal bastard, I can decide for myself whether my warden is saying that in a sweet, joking sort of way, or in an annoyed, sarcastic sort of way. The silent protagonist just makes it easier to really make the character your own. This counts for their voice as well. While games might allow you to pick a voice for the occasional voice barks, you are completely free and able to imagine the kind of voice your character has, which really helps when it comes to getting immersed in your character. Speaking of which, immersion. The fact that you have more freedom in how you choose to play your character can really help someone get fully immersed. You can decide how a character thinks, what they feel, and how they choose to express that. While this is possible with a voice protagonist as well, it's more prominent with a silent protagonist. You also don't run into the problem of misinterpreting dialogue options. With a silent protagonist, your character will say the exact thing that is written in a dialogue option. You still have the freedom to imagine how your character says it and what their intent is, but you know exactly what they are going to say and how the character you're speaking to might respond to it. More dialogue options. 
Games that have dialogue options usually give you more dialogue options when there is a silent protagonist. More dialogue options means broader conversations, more things for your character to say, and more ways for your character to express themselves in those conversations. Which in turn means more ways for you to roleplay your character in your current playthrough and potentially in a future one. Dialogue options that you don't pick now can be picked in another playthrough. Cheaper Having a silent protagonist is, I imagine, cheaper than having a fully voiced one. And I guess this is kind of tied to my previous point, as developers don't have to worry about paying a voice actor for recording more voice lines when adding more dialogue options to the game. And I guess all the money not spent on a voice actor for the protagonist can go to other parts of the game's development. Actions are louder than words. Sometimes the protagonist just doesn't really need to speak, and it's more about what they do rather than what they say. If the game is based more around your character's actions and gameplay, a silent protagonist can be a perfect fit. So, a silent protagonist sounds pretty good, but it does have some downsides as well. Pacing and immersion and one-sided conversations. Okay, these were originally two different points, but they are very similar, so I decided to just group them together. While a silent protagonist can really help some people feel immersed in their character, for others it might do the opposite. A protagonist that never speaks can break immersion and can disrupt the pacing of a conversation. The fact that you never physically hear your character reply in conversations can take you out of the immersion, because it doesn't feel like a realistic conversation that two people are having. Especially when there are little to no dialogue options for you to pick, it might not even feel like a conversation at all, and instead it feels like other characters in the game are just talking at you rather than to you. In the case of a game with dialogue options, there are usually more dialogue options to pick from, and the options themselves are usually longer as well. Reading all of them will cause longer pauses during conversations, and the pacing of the conversation might feel off as a result of that. Less personality A silent protagonist is usually less of a defined character. While it allows you as a player to fill in the blanks, it might put some people off. When your character never speaks, especially when there are no dialogue options, you never hear their thoughts, their opinions. They never express how they feel in different situations. This can cause you as the player to feel detached from the protagonist and the game's world, and make you feel like you're a spectator rather than someone actually experiencing a story. Less attachment As a result of the previous point, you can feel less attached to, or maybe not attached at all, to the protagonist. Instead of an actual character, they seem to be more like an empty shell that just exists and does things because they can, without an actual reason or personal motivation. In the end, I guess it just really depends on what kind of game it is. If done well, voice protagonists just work better for certain games, whereas silent protagonists just work better for others. And it's really up to your personal preference as well. As for me, if implemented well, I think I don't mind either way, though I do prefer a voice protagonist just a little bit more. While I really like all of the different dialogue options in, say, Dragon Age Origins, I do tend to feel a little bit more immersed when my character actually has a voice. Even if that voice isn't exactly what I imagined for my character, it just makes me feel like my character is really part of the conversation and the world, just a little bit more than when my character is silent. It's not to say Dragon Age Origins didn't do a good job of that though, and yes, I'm using Dragon Age because I played these games a fuck ton, so they're an easy example for me. Uh, because I really didn't have a problem with my warden being silent, and I was perfectly immersed most of the time. And I usually imagine my character actually saying their lines in their own voice anyway. And to quickly go into the Dragon Age example a little bit further, I think Dragon Age did a pretty good job at both of these. I feel like the warden is enough of a blank slate with enough opportunities to make it my own character without them becoming a boring, soulless protagonist. And the Inquisitor has enough personality to be enough of a character, but with plenty of room for my own version of that character. I think it's the same with Hawk, though I think out of the three Dragon Age protagonists, Hawk is probably the most defined one. Since the Inquisitor can still be a lot of different things, think of the different races and backgrounds, Lavellan, Kadash, Adar, Trevelyan. Whereas Hawk is always Hawk. And I think that's a good thing, by the way. Because I really like Hawk. I really like my Hawk. And that's it for my thoughts on the voiced versus silent protagonist discussion. Before I end this video, I want to quickly mention that I have a Patreon, where I'll be posting sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff. 
It's currently mostly artwork that I posted there because I used to use it for artwork only. But I made a post recently that goes a little bit more into detail about all of that. Um, but anyway, if you want to support me on Patreon, I'll be posting a link in the description. Even if you choose not to support me on Patreon, I do really appreciate every single one of you who have been subscribing and been watching my videos. I know it sounds cliche, but I really do mean it. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, let me know by liking this video. Or leave a comment and tell me whether you prefer a voiced or silent protagonist, and why. And what are some of your favorite games with voiced or silent protagonists? Do let me know. That's it for now though. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. If we take Dragon Age Inquisition for example, you know, oh.